Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. Let me turn a light on. Ah, oh, that's some better. It's that dusky time of day. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much. Today I am going to cook our dinner. I'm gonna cook stuffed peppers, old fashioned style stuffed peppers that I froze. It was part of the Freeze It February collab, and I said I would bring you back when I made them for dinner. So tonight, I need a quick dinner that's hands off. I'm gonna cook two of those peppers. We use either tomato soup, tomato sauce, or brown gravy. Um, we like the tomato soup though. Just whatever you prefer. I'm gonna heat up a jar of my home canned corn. I only have a few jars left. I gotta do more. And, and I'm just gonna use some instant potatoes because we like mashed potatoes because the gravy, the sauce, it's not really a gravy, the sauce that you, from the juices from the meat and the tomato soup go really good, good, good on potatoes. Sometimes I do baked, we like baked potatoes, but tonight, quick, easy peasy. Here's my peppers, stuffed peppers, and I did uh, give two to my daughter to take home too. So they're individually wrapped, so I can just pull out two for us. And that's that's usually enough. Sometimes I'll do four, so we have them for two nights, but this is what we're gonna do tonight, and that leaves me at least four more. In. Now, I will link up here, I'll try. It'll be down below too, but I'll try and put the iCard here for my video on how I make them. I make old fashioned stuffed peppers like my mom, which is like the raw meat and the rice that's cooked. And it's like a meatloaf that you stuff in here. So it's not like the pre-cooked meat. I'll bring you on down and show you how fast this is to throw together. I have my oven on preheated to 350. I am just going to unwrap these. You can. I do not blanch my peppers because the meat's raw and the way they cook, I don't have to blanch them. Now I'm gonna open up my tomato soup. Put this on top. It doesn't look very pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. Put that around the bottom. You can add cheese at the end. Sometimes I do that, but most of the times I don't. That's not how my mom did it. So, you know, we are creatures of habit. So I'm gonna cover this up with foil and put it in the oven it will take it will take at least a half hour probably 45 minutes there that's it dinner <laughs> okay I did up it I did up it to 375 you want to make sure your meat is done in the middle I'm going to take the foil off and let it like kind of like brown some let's see here's the sauce, the peppers, they stay a little firmish, not real firm because they've been frozen, but they're, I'm, I'm just using instant potatoes. It's after work. It's kind of late because I worked late, so I'm just making it really simple. I could have just put baked potatoes in too. Here they are. You can put a meat thermometer in to make sure it's done in the middle. I make sure that the juice that's firm and that the juices run clear. And these are done along with potatoes and corn and a little cucumber salad. So here we go with dinner. Using up some using up some fresh veggies in the crisper canned corn, my potatoes, you know, um, instant potatoes I try to keep in the pantry for quick nights, and 
my freezer meal, my stuffed peppers. And see. There it is. And with some of the potatoes and sauce, it is so good. So let's do a taste test. It's hot. Mm. Has good seasoning. Has a nice firm texture. Um, let's try one other part of the pepper. There is the pepper. It is not real flimsy. Let's try a bite of the pepper. It's good. It's sweet. It's tender. It's it's not crunchy, but it's not mushy, if that makes sense. And then the cucumber salad is cucumbers and some thin sliced onion and a dollop of sour cream and mayonnaise and salt, pepper, garlic, dill seasoning. It makes me think of summer. It's like one of my favorite summer salads. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Thank you so much for joining me for this follow-up on how I cook the stuffed peppers and what they look like when they're done. Thank you. We'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.